Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we have an iPhone running iOS 17 in front of us, which is now the official version and everyone can go ahead and install it. This time we talk about how you can clear the RAM on your iPhone running this version. And it's actually pretty simple, but there are some things you should have to enable at first. So let me just show it to you right now. So you open up the settings and I just want you to go to the accessibility section, tap on touch and enable assistive touch. Assistive touch is basically this floating button which shows you multiple different options. But yeah, we'll just keep it on, on the screen. You can move it around if you want, but let's just keep it enabled for the moment. Now, what we want to do in case we want to actually clear the RAM is to hold down on the, the power button as well as the lower volume button to get this section where you can easily just restart or turn off the iPhone as you wish. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But instead of doing anything in here, all you have to do is to click on the button, the assistive touch right here and just click on home. I believe we need to hold down on it. And if I do it like this, you should be able to get to the main section. I believe that it should work for you. And if it does not, then probably something is happening. But the thing is that after you come back, the iPhones should clear the entire thing and every single app should be cleared in terms of the RAM. So this should not really be the issue. Now, every single app that you would open should actually be cleared and open as a fresh start. So this is like one of the options, but the second one is to simply turn off your iPhone entirely and restart it. Because after you do that, every single thing is gonna be reset in terms of the software, all of the apps are just gonna be closed and everything has to be reopened again. So that's like another way to completely clear the, the cache and RAM, whatever you wanna call it, but that's how you can actually do it on an iPhone. Because you know, it's not as simple as on the Android. You have to find some little workarounds, but yeah, yeah, th there are some good things about the iPhones, but this is probably not one of them. But yeah, that's everything what you should know about this specific topic. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out until then.